Expecting our own. I can't believe that I had forgotten that his middle name was James. Aaron James Light. Yeah, this sounds very much like a gentleman and, and the, the per type of person he was, that, that I knew him as. I was the last person that child cared about and I was the last person to turn my back on him. Given those choices again, I would so have taken that child with me and I would so soon have the whole world think that I was a pedophile and that child be alive. When I went overseas in 96, I was madly writing to everybody because I missed everybody so much. And as wrote back to me. And that was the last that I heard of him. Thank you for your letter, Kirsty. I'm really starting to like school. I'm still trying to work on the girls. I started work experience today with Jono and that goes for another four days and he's teaching me a lot and keeping me busy. I'm going to try and save up so I can come over. Try and see as many places as you can so when I come over you can show me. Hope you get home sick soon. Love you always, Aaron. I read the letter and I hear Aaron, who I, how I know Aaron, who Aaron was to me, but he had another life, which I never knew about, and he hid that from me. I don't think he wanted me to judge him. I think he was embarrassed. Even to this day, three years later, still nothing's happened. It will never be over for Aaron until there, those people are punished for what they did, what they did to him. I believe that we had good evidence that it was well corroborated. And I believe there was a likeliness that we would have succeeded with our prosecution of these pedophiles. Obviously, they had some very real fears that they could be going to jail. They wouldn't want that. And, uh, you know, it's perfectly understandable to see that they could use that as their own strategy to, to use upon him to keep him away from working with us and keep him away from the courts and, and stop him from giving evidence against them. They I believe Aaron was murdered uh, probably a few days after he left the, um, the, the, the police station. Um, you know, and I... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is the guilt I live with. Hello, Mum, Dad. Hi. Ian thinks to himself that he probably didn't do enough for Aaron. But Ian offers all the support he could, but obviously it wasn't enough. Have you got that flat? No, so, that no my cat's sick. Which one? Um, that's the half of Ian's trouble. Everyone who's got any troubles, they go to Ian because they know Ian's, if you like, I won't say, well, I will say, he's a soft touch. Yep. Oh. No, not bad, Rev. Well, yeah. near a jewel. My father said once, you wouldn't have these problems if you were heterosexual. And I like, I, you know, I love my father. Like I know. They haven't accepted me being gay. A big audition in Melbourne. What's that, What's that oh. for? Not another dance, I think. Yeah, I'm a professional dancer. Dancing freestyle. Will Ian Roberts and his partner Natalie Lowe please take to the floor? This year, I was asked, would I like to be on Dancing with the Stars? It was the most uh, gratifying thing, thing for me personally in the fact that the audience kept voting us Natalie and I back in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, people. You have changed my world. Thank you. It's almost like the general public was saying, yeah, mate, OK, if, you know, I'm not real happy or, you know, about the way you, you, know, you, know, you choose to live your life, or if they were saying that at all. Or, but, you know, you, mate, you, you're having a go, I'll give you that. And, like, you seem to be enjoying yourself and, you, you know, it's almost like you're OK. You are OK. In fact, I think you're more than OK. I think you're terrific. Good on you, Ian. Nine. And I can't tell you, for me personally, that was, like, the, the greatest reward. I'm halfway through my life. I just turned 40. I really like who I am now. And I love what I'm doing. Um, for the first time in my life, I'm actually um, really um, 
great fun to be acting. Come on, come on, you lass, put up your mitts if there's a man's blood in you. <laughs> I graduated from NIDA 18 months ago. I'm very fortunate to have found that part of me that so fills that void that sport filled. Rules, Joe. Yeah. I don't make them, don't break them. It's part of the function today. I think Ian's getting a little bit older, and I don't think he wants to leave it too much longer before, you know, he takes that next big step in his life. I do hope to have children and a family because I can only imagine what it is like between a father and a child. Well, whose ball's this? Is it? And a frisbee. That was a good idea, oh, wasn't it? Oh, a lesbian couple I, I know asked me to be a sperm donor. One of the girls rang me and said, look, we've been you know, wanting to conceive now for, for such a long time. Would, would you be, you know, would you take seriously, think seriously about being, being the donor? I was like, yes, so much. Oh, you know, we all agree that three people loving a child is just as beneficial as two people. If Ian chose to have a child or start a family, it would probably be hard at first, because I know it wouldn't be like a normal starting of a family, as uh, like in a marriage and things like that. But I mean, in the end, if, if there's kiddies there, you can't help but love kids. And we, like, be a boy or girl, we'd accept them anyhow. Hey. Ian being what Ian is, he would just make a, a, a fantastic father. If we were to conceive a child, myself and the two girls, the child would live with, with the two girls and they would be the parental figures in the child's life. I would be obviously an influence on the child. But would I like to have the, the sole responsibility of a child? Um, probably not as a, as a single, <laughs> as a single gay man. No. Um, and I say single gay man because um, it wouldn't be just a, a single parent because the child would, would have to wear that tag as well continuously. I think Ian would be a very caring father. He's got a lot to give a child. The child would have a lot of love, have a lot of protection, have a lot of aunties and uncles. <laughs> the child will be loved. I'd like to thank everyone for coming, for coming here tonight to celebrate Ian's 40th birthday.